When you're insulin sensitive, you get leaner, lessen the risk of chronic diseases, and get fewer food cravings. But when you're insulin resistant, you might experience the opposite. The purpose of this video is to give you five ways to improve your insulin sensitivity. We promise we're going to make it very simple. Hey, before moving forward, hit that subscribe button and that little bell icon to turn on notifications so you never ever miss our videos. Okay, let's begin. The number one thing that helps you improve insulin sensitivity is eating your food in a specific order, like eating your proteins and veggies 15 minutes before your carbs. This way, you will end up with more insulin sensitivity. Let us base this argument on a study that was published in the Journal of Diabetes Care. One group of subjects ate their protein and veggies 15 minutes before their carbs, while another group consumed their carbs before eating protein and veggies. Then, their blood sugar and insulin were measured at 30, 60, and 120 minutes after eating. And these are the results they got. The group that ate proteins first had much lower blood sugar and insulin levels. 29% lower after 30 minutes, 37% lower after 60 minutes, and 17% lower after 120 minutes. That's huge! So basically, you can have your proteins at dinner, and by the time you're talking with friends and family, you kill 15 minutes before you eat carbs and you'll end up with 37% lower insulin levels. By the way, the same goes if you're practicing intermittent fasting. Break a fast with protein, wait a little bit, then have other foods. Then you won't have that massive insulin spike. The number two thing in improving insulin sensitivity is adding ginger into your diet. Ginger increases the ability of your body to absorb more glucose, therefore driving your glucose levels down and keeping your insulin levels down. Eating up to 4 grams of ginger per day may help lower your blood sugar levels and regulate insulin production. Keep these things in mind when adding ginger to your diet. Firstly, choose only natural organic ginger root. Don't think about consuming ginger-flavored products such as salad dressing, drinks, or sweets. They lack nutritional value and definitely won't improve your insulin sensitivity. Secondly, be consistent with daily consumption. Use ginger every single day. You'll get the best results by taking a certain dose over a long period rather than taking high amounts over a short period. Alright, so hopefully you've already added some ginger into your shopping cart. What's next? Number 3 on our list is adding cinnamon to your diet. You can mix it with ginger or use it separately. Feel free to improvise. Cinnamon is a powerful tool that is totally underrated. It's high in what is called methyl hydroxychalcone polymer. It's like artificial insulin that triggers the cell to be receptive to glucose. So, that makes you more insulin sensitive. One study from 2019 showed that cinnamon causes positive changes in blood glucose levels. However, this change differed depending on the daily consumed amount. The results increased when the consumed amount was 3 to 6 grams. You can add cinnamon to coffee, tea, or simply drizzle it on the mashed banana. Damn, that's delicious. Anyway, let's move to the number four thing in improving your insulin sensitivity, which is eating foods high in magnesium. Here's what is super interesting about magnesium. It helps the body understand that insulin is on its way. So it is basically saying, hey, hello, insulin is coming. To put it simply, magnesium is essential for proper glucose utilization and insulin signaling. This way, it helps regulate blood sugar and makes your body work more efficiently. A magnesium deficiency is often seen in people with diabetes, especially with type 2 diabetes. This is because low levels of magnesium are associated with insulin resistance. So, how do you get magnesium in the most effective way? Well, you can increase your low magnesium levels with supplements, but you can also do it naturally through diet. The recommended daily amount of magnesium is 320 to 360 milligrams for women and 410 to 420 milligrams for men. In this list, you can see foods that are an excellent source of magnesium. Why don't you take a screenshot of it and save it for the future? Okay, the last but not least step is increasing your soluble fiber intake. This important nutrient, found mainly in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and legumes, plays a significant role in regulating blood sugar levels. The human body is unable to absorb and break down fiber. Because of this, fiber doesn't cause a spike in blood glucose the way other carbs can. Soluble fiber dissolves in water and forms a gel-like substance in the stomach, which slows down digestion and causes longer periods of fullness. Many foods high in fiber tend to also be low in calories, so simply having a tablespoon of flax or chia seeds will go a long way. Once it combines with water in your gut, it will swell up to the extent of being like 30 grams of fiber. 
so definitely soluble fiber for the win. Watch next. These foods do not spike insulin and 8 healthiest low sugar fruits you should be eating.